it's Michael Gallup. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. This defense for the Saints, they were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? Do you just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball? Or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback up right? And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. is going to be incomplete. Is that the incorrect read or just more an error on the throw by the quarterback? I lean more towards the latter because it seemed like he was open there. Just missed him on the throw. And a tough one to miss because now you're dealing with a fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. This one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. And a throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he'll go out of bounds just shy of the 20. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. Now he's going to throw deep back over the middle. And incomplete on the deep ball. The Saints in a perfect 5-0 here to begin the campaign. And they've certainly found their groove of late. Winners of five in a row. And this team is absolutely playing their best football right now. This is the best that we've seen them play. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Nash. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Kamara up the middle. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Looking to throw, Jones. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So, Charles, you look at this offense, well, what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if we look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0, then lost 5-6 of six and went out in the first round. But I think if you get toward mid-November, the Thanksgiving time frame, and you're still doing this, that's when things start to get real for a ball club. Here's Jones on third down. 
And that will be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, on is Colby Wadman now to punt. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Slot man moves right. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And the running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. They'll send a big tight end in motion right. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. Meanwhile, Jones throw caught by his receiver, Hill. Touchdown, Saints! Taysom Hill, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Saints are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team owns it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are, but let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Elliott. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. On play action, Prescott. 
And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. Pulled in at the 24. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, they could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But it's the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how do we, have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking, usually the best way to maintain control. On second and 11 now, Jones. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try to get those yards a safer way. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. It's uh, really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered. They've had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one. And Prescott, his third interception. Picked off by Alante Taylor. And the Saints are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. They are in an interception mood on defense. Had two nice interceptions a week ago. Now two here in the first half. Yeah, we call it ball hawking. And the only way to truly be good ball hawks is not guessing. It's not just simply anticipation. It's study and understanding what they like to do and beating them to the spot and creating big plays. Well, they're watching the film, and it's working. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. The Saints have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now 21 to nothing. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. It is fielded right at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. And he's 
going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They'll need a big play here with Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. On the counter, Elliott. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll get this out to Kamara. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Jones out to the flat, and that's caught. And this play goes nowhere, losing yardage back to the 15. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And third and eight now. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Jones now to throw on third down. His throw caught at about the five. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third down. This is another conversion here, and they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. Finding Alvin Kamara for the completion. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. It's now third and goal. Right there, right there. Jones keeping it on the sneak. And he is over the line for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? Daniel Jones with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Saints are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Extra point right down the middle. And the round is on here in this first half. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. Some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys' offense. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. And they'll work this down inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. But this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first half scores just like this one. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Prescott from the gun. Got his man there complete to Gallup. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. 
A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the red zone now, Prescott. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's trying to come back from a four-possession deficit. And hey, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you'd never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late, that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Now a throw for the left sideline, and he's got it. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, it's Prescott. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Alante Taylor. And the Saints will take over here as they get it up to the 33-yard line. Well, I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team has struggled to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already. And we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. And this one too low. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. To throw again on second down. Jones. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Jones. And that is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time.
Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. 22 yards there, a first down. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. From the pistol, here's Elliott. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. From the 40 now on second down, Prescott, and he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Marcus Davenport, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Oh, hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield, right at the 48. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They begin on the ground with Kamara, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Jones throw caught by Alave. And some room to run now. Touchdown, New Orleans. Chris Olave, 48 yards. And the Saints will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away.
The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. On second down, Elliott once more. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 65 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Well, depending on the temperament of the head coach, He's either turning to the bench and screaming, where was that all game? Or maybe just kind of keeping it to himself and saying, okay, it's something to build on. And a positive comes out of a bad game because those are going to happen from time to time. We'll see how he gets his team ready to go in the future. But that run right there, that's what they were looking for. They go to Elliott again. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Prescott on play action. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. The slot man in motion right. Looking to throw, Prescott. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Gets it out quickly here to the left flat. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Well, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. And he's going to be marked down just outside the ten. Second down, Elliott. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. And the tight end goes in motion left. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Cowboys are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead. And now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else, you'll see a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. 
Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. And the Saints hands team able to rein this one in. Well, the fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number as empirical. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Again, it's Camaro. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. And they have been unstoppable this afternoon, Charles. They just went after them from the start. And pass plays like we just saw, they're continuing their dominance here despite the big lead in the fourth quarter. And that they have in every way. And plays like that across all phases of the game, they've just been effortless for them in this one. And that's what's helped them build such a large lead and allowed them to smile as this game continues. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Throwing again on second down. Jones, that is caught inside the five. And the Saints are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Partner, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. Here Jones gets it out quickly complete. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when it work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Second and goal from the one. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, this has been another impressive display by this undefeated team, Charles, and it looks like they're going to stay that way after this one. Yeah, one well, of the league's best offenses, they stayed on brand in this contest because they continue to look good at what they do. Just added a late touchdown. Now they're really hammering home just how good they've been all year long. Let the rest of the league take notice. Point after, right down the middle. And this one was over a while ago as he just ran on to that big lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Oh 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the run. And now here is another interception. Marcus May with a pick. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Extra point forthcoming. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much in trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone, loose. It's loose, the ball bouncing around, and it's going to go out of the back of the end zone, so that is going to be a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does them in here, and that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He finds his man complete. It's Nash. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, business as usual for them. Well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. Extra point right down the middle. And this one was over a while ago as they just ran on to that big lead. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team owns it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's going to be brought down inside the five at the three. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys' offense. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early loop was almost insurmountable the way they were punched. And can you believe it? It's a second safety in this ball game. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here. And that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. From the gun, it's a run for Camaro. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. It's a seven-yard kick. 